Hello guys, and welcome to the uh, reconstruction of the ISS, uh, also known as the International Space Station, to those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, uh, this was suggested to me by that same guy who uh, made me do the last video, which was the Maneuver Nodes thing. Uh, so yeah, thanks for that. Uh, I think Teddy is your name? Uh, so thanks for that. Uh, yeah, a, a massive project for me to do. So this is probably going to be an absolutely enormous thing. It's going to take me ages because, as you can see, the ISS is just just stupidly big and massive and confusing. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, right, let, uh, let's do it. Oh, okay, let's not, let's not. okay, right. So I'm probably going to go with a sandbox and all that because um, because. Uh, because then, otherwise it will take years. Oh, and guys, I am using uh, version 0.23, I believe. So, uh, if... Uh, uh, well, version 0.24 is coming out soon. So, um, yeah. Uh, that might change some things. But anyway, I'm here in the Vehicle Assembly Building. And the first thing we are going to make... I believe it's called the S0 Truss Segment. Which is like the middle bit in the middle of the... ISS that like holds everything together and that also has on it the um, the SPDM Dextry which is the mass uh, uh, which is like a um, robot repair thing that kind of repairs uh, the ISS when everybody's asleep and also there's just the normal SPDM which is the uh, robotic arm that you've probably seen on pictures that that astronauts can tie themselves to and have lots of fun, no, I'm joking. Um, uh, but anyway, so, uh, so yeah, we're going to be making that, I think, in this episode today. Uh, and we might actually attach some extra straps to the side, which are the S1 and P1 truss segments, I believe. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is obviously going to get incredibly complicated, so yeah. Oh, and guys, sorry, uh, I got that wrong earlier, it's, uh, uh, the manual arm uh, of like controlling things is actually called the RS. Is either called the RMS or the OBSS. So I kind of got that wrong. So yeah.
back. Finally, this has taken me like half an hour. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't, don't know why it's taken me half an hour. It should have really been quicker than that. But yeah, so, uh, uh, but yeah, so this is the main um, main trust section. Obviously, this is the main trust. The uh, for have I spelled trust right? Hang on. Yeah, have good. <laughs> um, yeah. So these things here are going to extend at the back, and these are uh, let me see. Uh, those are called thermal control panels. I will have to look up the exact details of what they do and let you know um, And I've just added some basic lighting uh, Hopefully this will light up the trusses the light will kind of go along hopefully But if not then I'll have to add some lighting in uh, These batteries are basically just there for aesthetics to, to, uh, uh, Just to make it look good really, but they also kind of serve as power and also that little uh, energy power generator and this leg here is supposed to be the um, the what's it called the S the SPDM uh, the SPDM Dextry that's it uh, and that and that's the robotic controlled arm that uh, fixes stuff uh, so yeah and also at the end here hopefully these um, what are they called? They're called um, Clampertron uh, Juniors. Hopefully they will um, hold all the solar panels in place because I'm going to attach the solar panels on the back of that. And obviously all the science modules will come out this way. And that, uh, yeah, and there's uh, a few directions in like the like, uh, so that It's obviously like um, port, I think is that way. Starboard is that way. And there's forward and um, th I don't think it's rear. I think it's like aft or something weird like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, so I'm gonna quickly launch this and test it to make sure everything's working. So obviously, uh, if this doesn't crash, because sometimes it crashes while I'm recording and it switches screens. Yes, there we go. Cool. It's looking. Oh, uh, I forgot the controls. I haven't played this for so long. Okay. Oh Jesus. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to get everything in order, and then, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, well, this actually looks pretty good, to be honest. be perfectly honest. Um, I might replace these for just the ones that are like... I don't know, they look good like that. Uh, well, these aren't supposed to rotate, they're just the, supposed to, like, stay flat, like, um, like, all flat against each other, if you know what I mean, uh, because they're, like, I, I think they're supposed to, like, absorb heat from the sun's energy and keep the cabin warm or something like that, I'm not sure, uh, but obviously the lights are lighting up pretty well and everything, let's just test out the, um, the arms, yeah, that's working pretty nicely. Yes. Uh, uh, well, obviously that is a bit longer and rotates um, in real life, but KSP doesn't have that functionality yet. So that's the best I can do, really. And that thing is just, just an optional kind of... Uh, and I might actually... Yeah, yeah, I might actually add lights on the inside of here as well. Yeah, and then that will be pretty much good to go. <laughs> Okay guys, here we are, the first uh, launch of the first part of the ISS in Kerbal Space Program. Right, okay, this is probably gonna, oh, I forgot the staging, okay, there we go, right. Oh, yep, yeah, already and throttled up, okay, three, two, one, launch! Woo, okay. Uh, I thought that would wobble around a lot, but it seems pretty stable. And the reason I haven't put the struts across there 
is because uh, oh and I'm gonna get a bit close to my mic because the engines are probably really loud uh, the reason I haven't put struts across there is and I hope you can see my mouse let me just check that yeah you can probably uh, uh, so the reason I haven't put struts across here and here uh, to make it more stable is because uh, let's just move away from the engines uh, is because I obviously don't want any of that leftover strut bit on the final uh, space station because that will just look a bit weird, just a random blob of strut. <laughs> and there goes the first uh, stage thing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Stage. Actually, is it, it? Actually, is that the second stage? Because because I suppose the first stage was lift off. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little. There's like a little triangle. Is that supposed to be that? Oh, and we're climbing quite steeply. Uh, steeply? Is that a word? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I don't know what that is. That kind of hang glider looking thing. It's like a, it's like a bent line. It's kind of weird. Okay, right. Uh, so, so the orbit of the ISS is that its apple apse is 426 kilometers and its peri apse is 420 kilometers so um uh that will go off like right out here so i'm probably not going to do that i'm probably going to okay right i'm going to go for an about a hundred a uh, hundred thousand a uh, hundred thousand meter uh orbit because then it will look roughly sick. And also I'm gonna adjust the inclination to make it slightly because because the Earth's Oh Jesus. Uh well the uh Earth's I mean the ISS's uh, orbit has an inclination of fit about I think it's fifty two degrees. So I'm obviously not gonna go that much because that's like like that so I'm just gonna do oh jeez okay <laughs> oh okay a hundred oh okay right let's just bring that back down slightly shall we okay that's fine that's fine alrighty that's cool uh, so there we are guys that bit is now in orbit I'm just going to turn the lights on and quick save and disconnect uh oh hang on disconnect this decouple and then switch to this and then let's deorbit this thing actually is that produce still producing power let's just check yeah it is cool okie dokie well let's deorbit this without smashing into the to the strut thing ah no 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 without crashing into it please oh no that could have been a bad mistake that could have damaged it did that damage it don't think so thank god <sighs> jeez okay now let's quickly deal with this thing There we go. That's not even in a deal of it. Crap. Okay. I'm gonna deal with this thing. Deal with it. Thank you. Okie dokie. Okay, well, that's kind of. Let's not hit the thing. Jesus. Okay. Right. So, yeah, guys, that is that. I'm just gonna quickly extend everything I, I say like a lot so if that annoys you i'm sorry i will try and say it less <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna turn that light off because that we don't really need that right now uh so yeah guys that is that part of the international space station done and it's got a bit of an inclination which is nice i mean it's not as much as the iss but at least it's got some sort of inclination oh actually let's split those oh let those off. There we go. Oh, do it! Excuse me. I just had to cough there. But that looks fantastic. 
Look at that. That that just looks so amazing. Uh, I really want them to add in in that in like if in the next few updates some sort of thing that actually burns like excess parts that go through the atmosphere because sometimes when they hit the ground they stay there and then you have to go and delete them like in the menu and things uh which is quite annoying so, so, so if they're like destroyed in the atmosphere that'd be a lot cooler really uh so yeah let's just oh sh should we go okay let okay well these things are just gonna crash into the ocean fine we and up okay fine now let's switch back to nope i don't want that i want to switch back to oh god's sake space center I was thinking about calling it the KSS, but it's the International Space Station, not the Kerbal Space Station. And that looks like a bit more realistic, since like the, the uh, I mean the thermal sensor things are kind of upright. If I tilt it like that, maybe it will. There we go. And now they're all flat and it looks normal. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. They're not supposed to be solar panels. They're just uh, supposed to be like that. But yeah. Uh, so let's just quickly rename this thing. And there we go, guys. The International Space Station. Uh, the world... Well, the start of it, anyway. Uh, so anyway, guys. I'm going to be adding a lot more to this. And obviously a lot more episodes to come. So if you're new, subscribe and all that. But anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I... We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.